Hey, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Today, we got a look at the Insect Glaive and the Bow. We've nearly seen all the weapons or all the weapon teasers so far, and if you've missed any of those, we have breakdowns for everything so far over on the channel. But we're gonna start by talking about the Insect Glaive because it looks really cool. So if you guys do enjoy this, then a like will be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. And of course, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future Monster Hunter content. Now, before we dive into the moves, as always, we're gonna start by talking about the armor because this, this is Master Rank Legiana. I've always loved the Legiana armor anyway. I think it looks really cool and it's one of those kind of sets that I wish had a little bit more use towards end game. But the Master Rank version, oh, this looks kind of like full on Kamen Rider, Power Ranger kind of thing. Very, very awesome. Loving it. And the Insect Glaive appears to be a Master Rank or an upgraded version of the Bone Glaive. Anyway, moving on from there to the actual intro cutscene itself. The very first part just shows a few new moves and it actually shows a new technique that isn't necessarily clear from seeing this first part. But basically, you can use your slinger ammo to power up your kinsect in ways that we'll speak about in just a moment. Now, the very first scene, of course, goes on to show, once again, as always, you can use your slinger with your weapon drawn. I'll be honest, the uh, choice of clip is kind of odd. This basically just like, it shoots some plants and then it goes and sharpens. There's not really much else that goes on there. I appreciate the reason they've done that is to demonstrate that you can use the plants to then hide and then you can kind of use the opening to sharpen. Either way, it's a bit of an odd clip. But if we then move on from there, we can see that the uh, clutch claw, when you grapple onto the monster's face and you begin attacking, this is the Insect Glaive's unique move. It looks really, really awesome. Gets a ton of hits in there because, of course, it's all about those... Uh, fast hitting attacks you get loads and loads of spins with the uh, glaive and of course on the jump off you get the slinger ammo dropping in the process so that's a very cool move however the next scene this this is very very exciting because i'm sure a lot of you have been thinking well clutch claw sounds really cool but when you've got a weapon like the insect glaive which can just jump around all the time what are they gonna do for that and the answer my friends is your ability to use the clutch claw mid air yes you heard me correctly the Insect Glaive can vault up into the sky, much like it can right now, and in the air, you can use your claw to then grapple down onto the monster. You now have even more mobility than you've ever had before. This, this is incredible stuff. And of course, they then round that out by firing some slinger ammo into the uh, Palu's face, sending it hurtling into the ground. Now this next scene, this is where things get interesting. They actually show us some UI for this one because they want to illustrate the point that what you can actually do when you gather this slinger ammo, you can use this to buff up your kinsect. Now the audio line on the video actually says you can use it to buff up the kinsect to do multiple things. And they demonstrate one of those here. In this situation, you can actually have it so your kinsect can gather two extracts before it has to return. If you've used Insect Glaive before, you'll know it works around the extract gathering mechanic. You have to go and send your Kinsect out, it grabs some extract, you bring it back, you collect that, you then send it out and get the next one. But if you consume your Slinger Ammo to buff it, you'll see on the UI that you can gather the red extract and then the white extract together, bring it back, and then you get both at the same time. Now again, to reiterate, the audio line did say that you can use the Slinger Ammo to buff up the Kinsect in a number of different ways. So for the other ways, we're not entirely sure just yet. I'm sure we'll find out in due course. But regardless, that's very exciting. It's going to make gathering your triple buff incredibly quick now. So yes, yes, and yes. Of course, after that, we then get a look at this really, really brutal looking sort of glaive plant. It's kind of like a sword plant with a glaive move. You just jump up above the Palumu and then just impales the glaive down into the ground in a very, very kind of, it's almost like the Dragoon emote that we got for the uh, Final Fantasy content in World, where you kind of launch up to the sky and then stab down with the, uh, the glaive. Well, that's kind of what we've got now in an actual combat form. That's very cool. Either way, that's the glaive. It does also round out with, uh, you know, a little buffed kinsect again. You can see following from that uh, plant, following from the uh, glaive stab, the kinsect then just does a little dive bomb through Palumu's wings. That may well be hinting at another kind of addition for, say, the power up mechanic, or maybe it's just kind of a follow up attack. Either way, lots of stuff to find out. Very excited, but for the time being, that is a look at the insect glaive. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.